Hello, this is John Smedley from beautiful Las Vegas. Uh, we're here today with Laurelyn McWilliams, the creative director for our newest game, Free Realms, which comes out here in the second quarter of this year. Free Realms is a new virtual world game coming from Sony Online Entertainment. What it really is all about is taking down the barriers of an MMO and making it fun and fast and easy to play and rewarding at the same time. Yeah, we're really excited by Free Realms. It's been getting great buzz here at the CES show. And we've had the website up now for about two months, um, and we are accepting beta applications at freerealms.com. This is a game that's primarily aimed at a younger audience. We're going for teens and tweens, and we're going for an equal number of boys and girls. It's really important. This is our first game that we've really tried to capture a female audience. Yeah, it's a part of the fundamental design philosophy behind the game to make appeal that's for both boys and girls. And the core of that was really to make a lot of activities in the game optional, but make sure they were also rewarding and fun. And then when you play the game, you really believe that it's a game for you, whether you're a boy or a girl, actually whether you're an adult or a kid, it feels like it's a game that's made for you. And that's really been important to us all along, that we recognize different play styles and different people, and we just make a game that a, a whole wide variety of people will really enjoy. Yeah, the, the amazing thing about Free Realms is that you can get this just by going to freerealms.com. The client downloads to you in about a minute, and you're in this amazingly beautiful virtual world. And at freerealms.com, we've got videos. If you go to the What is Free Realms section, you can actually see the videos of the gameplay itself. A um, couple of key things about Free Realms. It is a game where combat is completely optional. Unlike every MMO that's out there right now, combat is something that we focus on as being one part of the content, but we also have many other different paths that you can play the game. Speaking of the combat, it's interesting because it's actually good for everybody. Because if you love combat, you know where to go to find it. It's always available to you. You're not waiting for something to spawn. We have multiple uh, different bonus rewards for playing the same uh, battle again uh, to try to get better rewards. So really, it's a great combat game, but also that's optional. So if you don't like combat, you can play with your pet. You can play mini games. Uh, you can play soccer, you can play racing, and all of those have that same kind of investment that we're putting into combat. So that whatever you enjoy, you can invest in it and feel like that's what the game is all about to you. It's really cool. We put a big emphasis on the mini games that are uh, in the world. So you actually walk up right up to, uh, you'll see a racing car stadium, and you go right into it, and you can get into a car, and you're immediately racing against other people. Yeah, including some uh, matchmaking services to help you find people to play with. Uh, we also do a lot in terms of groups and friends. For example, on the website where you have a profile page like Facebook and also where you create your character, you'll see friends listed on the website. You can click on their name, it'll put you in the game and connect you to where they are right away. You can even do that in the world. So if you see a friend exploring a part of the world you haven't been to before, click on his name and teleport to him. So we really want to make it easy for people to play together with a wide variety of other people. And Free Realms is very unique in that in this game, you can literally be whatever you want to be. As you discover new jobs, you can actually go from being a ninja one second to being a wizard the next. So our job system features all of the different play styles that we have in Free Realms. And what I mean by that is you can be a combat job like ninja or wizard or brawler. Or, on the other hand, you could be a non-combat job. You could be a pet trainer. You could be a fashion designer. You could be a rock star. You could be a miner and play a mini game to mine for gold. You can be a race car driver. And it's just as simple as choosing to be that job. They all level up independently. So whatever you're interested in, you invest in that and you're rewarded for it. Probably the thing I'm personally most excited about, I've got four kids and I, I game with my kids all the time. And Free Realms is a game that my son, who's 13, or my daughters, who are 11, 9, and 7, can actually enjoy together. So we've got a lot of features that are very family friendly. Good example is uh, pets. Pets are actually little virtual um, virtual pets that are unique. Every single pet in the game has a unique personality, and your dog is literally your dog. Now at launch, we're going to have dogs and cats, and we've got some amazing features in there. You want to talk about pets? Yeah, it's one of my favorite features actually. So. Our pet system lets you have a dog or a cat that has a real personality. So we have large dogs and small dogs, friendly dogs, for example. The hyper dog is awesome, the small hyper dog. Uh, you can actually put a variety of clothes on your dog, which is one of our favorite features and one of the things we're showing here at CES. 
You can also teach your dog tricks. We're putting in a gesture system, meaning that when you ask your dog to do a trick, a gesture will appear on the screen that you have to follow with your mouse to teach the dog tricks. You'll be able to throw a, a ball rather and play with your dog. You can go to the adoption center and see the various dogs and cats that you can adopt in the game. You can feed them and bathe them. It's really an important feature to us. So we're just a couple weeks from starting our internal closed beta. And it's a really big milestone for us because we've been uh, playing this game for so long, but we can hardly wait for other people to start playing it. And we're really at the point now in the game where demoing today at CES, you really don't have to do any slash commands. There are no cheats. We're at the point now where you can log in as a new character, play the tutorial, get jobs, level up jobs, and we're really feeling like it's, it's all coming together for us. So there are a few finishing touches we're putting on it, and of course we've left time to accommodate uh, changes from people when we go into beta, so we're really excited right now. This is probably the most polished game that we've ever worked on as a company. Uh, we're really proud of it. We've, we've spent a lot of time putting the polish on it even before it ever gets to beta. Something that we've seen over time is that the audience is getting much more sophisticated. So the first time the outside world ever sees Free Realms, uh, we're going to make sure that their experience is, is like a finished game right then. We're going to have the time to make, make sure this game is the best that it can be, and we're really super proud of the work that the dev team has been doing. So if you haven't had a chance to sign up for the beta, please go to freerooms.com and sign up. We'll be letting people in over the next couple months. And do please give us feedback if you play the game. There's a way to do that in the game. There'll be forums. But really, we absolutely want to know what people think when they're playing it because that's the only way we know, you know if we're succeeding in what we're trying to do. Yeah, thank you very much for coming with us to Las Vegas here, and we are excited to see you in Free Realms. Thank you.